Are you having performance issues in PoE2 and you think it might be your internet connection, your network, you're getting random lag spikes. Maybe you're in combat, you try to do a dodge roll, it takes a little bit too long. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a bunch of tips that I've gathered up over the years for trying to troubleshoot different internet connection network issues that might be leading to poor performance. So today, let's talk about different ways we can troubleshoot exactly what the cause of our network problem is so we can then figure out the right solution and fix. So first, let's just stop for a second and remind ourselves from my last video, how do we diagnose that we even have a network issue? In my opinion, the primary thing you're gonna wanna do to diagnose a network issue is to look again at that top right graph. This is a graph if you you hit F1 on your keyboard, it's gonna appear. You can click it a couple times and we're gonna get this graph. And if you look at the, the light green, the hyper green line at the very top and you can see network 56, 55 milliseconds. And we're seeing some spikes and that line is also at the top of the graph, meaning it's kind of sort of bottlenecking our performance. Okay, so look what just happened there. I'm running around and my network went from, from about 50 milliseconds to about 70 milliseconds, just running around these corpses. The reason is probably because I am on a Wi-Fi internet connection at the moment. So let's go ahead and jump into it with tip number one. If you are on a Wi-Fi connection to your router, don't be on a Wi-Fi connection to your router. This is the number one worst possible thing you can do for anything related to any network issues, any lag. If you're a, a gamer and you truly enjoy this hobby, basically you need to make a vow to yourself right now, I will never use a Wi-Fi connection ever again. I'm playing the game and it feels totally fine to be honest, but we can do better. So before we go ahead and change my connection to a wired connection to try to see a tangible noticeable difference, how can we actually troubleshoot these network issues? So if you watch my network graph, you saw that our network is at around, you know, 50, 55 milliseconds, but it jumps to 60, 70 milliseconds every once in a while. We're getting just a minor network issues. It's not like a perfectly stable flat line. Like like right there was a little bump. Every once in a while, it's taking a little bit longer to send and receive the information. We want it to be a perfectly flat, straight line. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and use Alt-Tab to get out of the game. Okay, now that we're at my desktop, I'm gonna go to the Start menu, Search menu, this thing on the bottom left here, and I'm gonna go to open a what's called a Command Prompt. And to do that, I'm just gonna type in CMD. And once you type in CMD, you can either click Command Prompt, or I'm pretty sure you can just press Enter. We'll just click on Command Prompt and open up a Command Prompt. This is basically a program that comes by default on Windows computers. You can also open it on Mac. It's called Terminal, and you should be able to do the exact same thing if for some reason you're playing on a Mac. We're gonna type in the word Ping, P-I-N-G, and we're going to do google.com and I like to add at the end a dash T. Dash T basically means just keep this running indefinitely, don't ever stop doing this. And I'm gonna hit enter. And when I do that, this is what we see. So we just start getting this really long list and it just says that basically I'm sending information to google.com and google.com is sending the information back and it's keeping track of how long it's taking my computer to send information back and forth to and from google.com. And this MS here, this, this is the time in milliseconds of how long it's taking my computer to send information, again, to and from google.com. But this right here is gonna be one of the most important things that I go over in this video, this ping google.com. Whoa, look what just happened there. 323 milliseconds. So for a very brief period of time, it took a 10 times longer. So we had kind of like a 10x lag spike where our information is just stopped getting sent. Oh, there it was again, 307 milliseconds. And we got a bunch of 60 millisecond 50. Whoa, there it was again, 353 milliseconds. What's happening? Why are we having all these? What's going on? I want a stable connection. I don't want a connection that keeps jumping up and down between 30 milliseconds and 300 milliseconds. That's not acceptable. That's that's actual lag there that's gonna give me problems. Now, if we go down to my start menu on the, on the bottom, it basically shows you I'm currently connected to Wi-Fi on my computer. Don't use Wi-Fi. Your computer needs to be physically connected to your router modem. This is the number one thing you can do to prevent these crazy lag spikes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and plug my computer in physically. So I'm gonna make sure I'm connected to wired and I'm just not gonna use Wi-Fi at all. I disconnected my Wi-Fi internet. I went ahead and plugged a physical cable in. Suddenly, every single message that is getting sent back and forth from my computer to Google, I, I couldn't have made this video more perfectly to demonstrate exactly what was going to happen here. Every single message is being sent at exactly either 33 milliseconds or 34 milliseconds. We haven't seen a single one. There was a 32 and a 36. We haven't seen a single piece of information getting sent back and forth that had any lag whatsoever because a wired connection will always be vastly superior to a wi-fi connection wi-fi it's just a little bit problematic when you want to have a fast stable especially stable connection basically if you go to google 
and you type in ethernet cable, these are the specific cables you're looking for. It's called an ethernet cable. You're gonna connect one end into the back of your desktop computer or into whatever you're playing in. And the other end is gonna go into your router, your internet device. All right, so I've logged back into the game here. And when we did the ping google.com, we saw firsthand that our internet connection has improved. But maybe we are still getting a little bit of some lag bumps every once in a while. But if we look at our top right monitor that we opened with F1, we do see that it looks relatively stable at this point. When we did this before, if you were watching, we had some lag bumps. And the nice thing is when you have this going, if let's say you do see a tiny little lag bump, you can actually check, is that lag bump because of my internet or is that lag bump because of them? And the way that we do this, if we see a little lag bump is we have that program open. Okay, there was a tiny little bump there, tiny little bump. We press Alt tab. We open up our command prompt that I showed you how to open and we look to see here, did it show me anything when I got that lag bump in the game? If if this thing doesn't show you anything, probably it was on GGG's end. It was probably their fault because we're seeing that we have a, a good connection to Google. In theory, they're like the smartest, brightest technology people. So they always have a stable connection to you. Whereas maybe GGG, maybe every once in a while something with their servers goes wrong. Who knows? I can always check to see if it's my issue or if it's their issue. And this ping google.com dash T typed into a command prompt is always how I monitor this to check if it's my problem on my internet or if it's somehow their problem. All right, so let's move on to the second thing that we can do for our network connection. The next thing we're gonna do is at the top right of the character selection screen, when we go back here, click this box on the top right. This is called the gateway. And the gateway is gonna show you different servers that you can use to connect to the game servers. And it's gonna give you an estimate of the ping that you're gonna get, how long it takes you to send signals back and forth from that server. For some reason, Texas US, it has this question mark ping. I feel like maybe there's like an issue with the Texas gateway server, to be honest right now. And that's why when I, when I started this video and game up here, mine was selected to Washington DC by default. That's my second best. The best one for me is actually Texas because it's actually closer to where I live. And the reason why I actually had my game on Washington DC, this is very important is because when the game first came out and I was trying to log in, literally the day it came out, I was trying to log in and I could not log in. And what I did is I actually changed this server from Texas to Washington DC. Even though Washington DC should actually be a worse connection for me because it's farther away from me, it's a little bit laggier for me to use. But this Texas server, it literally wasn't letting me log into the game. Why is that? It might be because the Texas server might be honestly getting a little bit slammed by too much traffic. Let's try to connect to Texas and see what happens. All right, so we're back in the game. We've connected to Texas, I think, even though my network is showing exactly the same status, 53 milliseconds, it should actually be faster than that. So this is this is super important for y'all to know. If you are having really bad network issues, you may want to just go ahead and go select a different gateway. That's not necessarily the best one, the closest one to you. Maybe, the, maybe there's some issue with you connecting to a specific gateway. Maybe the gateway is having problems. So I've been playing on Washington DC since the game came out. I've had no problems whatsoever. But if you notice, I would say our network connection is probably a little bit faster in general than when we were on the Washington DC gateway. Like literally, if you look at the screen right now, it literally is a perfectly flat line at 53 milliseconds. So overall, the network performance is a little bit better than the Washington DC so far. So keep this in mind, anytime you start having really crazy wonky network issues, try different try different gateways if you absolutely have to. If you absolutely need to go to a gateway that's further away from your physical location, just try it and see if it helps you. It's another possible fix for network issues that you might have. All right, the next point is super important. So I still have a wired internet connection. You saw just moments ago, I had about 50 millisecond ping always, and now, suddenly my game is basically completely unplayable. Look at my network. It's like, I'm trying to move the stick on my controller and it's just like, this is the worst experience I've had since I started playing this game. What happened all of a sudden that my network got so bad? Well, I'm gonna explain it. And you might be asking, why does this suddenly, maybe you can hear in the background. I don't know if my noise cancellation is working perfectly on my recording, but there's a bunch of noise in the background suddenly. Well, what I did is I went to Twitch on my laptop and I opened three, random poe2 twitch streams and i set the quality to the highest quality on all three streams and i have them all playing at the same time so i've got basically three 1080p twitch streams going all at the same time and suddenly i basically i cannot move because my network is so bad i i just i can't move i can't really do anything and you can see how crazy the spikes are 
this is a problem on my end. This is not a GGG problem. I am causing this problem. If you go look at your service provider like AT&T, they have plans like AT&T 24, AT&T 40. It tells you how much data, 24, 40, that's how much data you get to use at any given time. And if you use more than that, it basically just starts deleting data that you're trying to send and receive from the internet. It just basically just deletes it. So when I'm trying to send information to the GG server, probably some of these movements are just getting straight up deleted. And when I go to the command prompt, which I showed you how to do earlier in the video, let's see what it shows me. This is what the command prompt suddenly shows me. It's showing me these crazy times, 100 milliseconds always basically. And then a whole bunch of times, we just see the words request timed out. When we see, when we see this request, Request timed out, it basically just means, yeah, it just didn't happen. We tried to send data to Google and get some data back and it just didn't happen. And literally all I have to do is close the Twitch streams and suddenly my internet is gonna go back to being perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this live. I'm gonna go to my laptop, close all the Twitch streams and then just close my laptop and we're gonna see what happens to the command prompt. All right, I just went and I closed all the Twitch streams. Maybe you could hear it in the background. Suddenly there's no background. And literally I closed three Twitch streams. I came back to the computer and I also hit sleep on my laptop and look what happened. Suddenly all of my network woes have disappeared and I'm good to go. So maybe you're the typical Diablo gamer. You've got 17 kids and your wife has like three boyfriends. And maybe you two have an agreement like, like, hey, on Sundays, that's my day that I get to play PoE uninterrupted and my wife isn't going to bother me. But in return, I've agreed that she gets to have one of her boyfriends over and they get to watch Netflix in 4K and all the kids are also all watching YouTube and Twitch and things like that. Well, that may not work depending on your internet connection. At some point, your internet connection will become saturated and you will start taking a hit and if you open up the graph with f1 you can see it in your network connection and it is not ggg's fault at that point it is your fault your kids and one of your wife's boyfriends so you need to go through your house you need to figure out who's all using the internet who's streaming videos on their laptop you got to go through literally every device in the house and make sure that that your network connection isn't getting just totally destroyed by all these different devices so go through your house shut everything off disconnect everything from the internet, and maybe you should be good to go. Another thing you can do just to make sure there's nothing on your computer in the background using all your network data is you can actually monitor the network usage on a lot of computers nowadays. I'm gonna alt tab out of PoE again, and I'm just gonna hit control alt delete, and then I'm gonna open up the task manager, and it shows you basically everything that's running on the computer. And usually when people look at this, they're looking for things like CPU usage and memory and disk, but you can also see there is a network usage here. And as we can see, fortunately for me, everything is showing 0%, but in theory, you could look at this and find that there's some program installed on your computer. Maybe you got a virus on your computer. And if we go to performance tab here, again, we see the same thing. If we look at ethernet, again, we can kind of keep an eye on what's happening. All right, everyone, let's wrap this video up with a final section. I'm gonna just call this honorable mentions. I don't have a lot of confidence in the things I'm gonna mention now, but if you look around, for example, some of the people that commented on my last video, and I even saw a video from someone that mentioned, if you go to a waypoint, open it up, and if you navigate to where you wanna go to, so let's say just the area I'm in now, which is the sand sweat marsh, if I hold the A button, instead of just pressing the A button on my controller, hold the A button, then it opens up this instance manager, and you can actually open up a new instance. So some people have reported that if they open up a new instance, once or twice or maybe three times that it can actually fix some of the problems that they're having with their network. Now, I don't know really why this would work. In theory, maybe it's putting you on a different server or something like that. That's the only thing I can think of. Maybe that could work for you. Similar to that type of issue, one person in my comment section said they were having lots of network problems and that using a VPN actually solved their issues. From my perspective, my point of view, I don't see why that would really do anything, but it's something you could try if you absolutely had to. Another thing, absolutely worst case scenario, eventually parts on PCs do go bad. Your network card could actually be going bad on your computer. If you had, for example, a laptop and a desktop, you could do the same test that I showed you where you open up this command prompt, do it on your desktop and on your laptop and see if perhaps one computer has problems, but another one doesn't. And that might tell you, for example, maybe you have a network card that's going bad, needs to be replaced, something like that, or some other issue that you're gonna have to just troubleshoot at that point on the computer that's having problems. And the final issue I wanna mention is unfortunately, some people may have to actually switch internet service providers. If you've troubleshooted everything I've talked about, you've tried everything, and you can see that the problem is for sure on your end. Unfortunately, some ISPs just might not be doing a good job and you may actually have to switch ISPs. I have actually had to switch internet ser service providers in the past when I was having problems and I wanted 
good latency, low pings when I was doing fighting games and I wanted to have like one frame or two frame ping times. I actually had to switch ISPs. It was really annoying and frustrating, but sometimes you literally have to do what you have to do if you just can't get your internet to be any better than it is. Most people, you know, in first world countries, we should have some option that exists to find a decent ISP. So nowadays, if you're wealthy, you could even potentially use Starlink if you absolutely had to. All right, y'all, with that, that's a wrap. I've given you every possible tool and fix and troubleshooting method that I can possibly think of. I've laid out everything I can possibly think of. Hit me with a subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Hopefully, surely one of these things will help you if you're having network lag issues. If you appreciate the effort and work I'm putting in on these videos, not just giving you a surface level answer, but, but really providing some value, I think, to some of you and helping some of you out with your problems, feel free to consider hitting me with a subscribe. And with that, I'll shut up and end the video. Take care, y'all. See you in the next one. Peace.